talking about Neo and what Neo has done becoming the prince of R&B, which is really not as concerning because it is Neo, but it's because Neo puts a single and he does this kind of thing where Neo is very creative, where no matter if it's choreography, no matter if it's just the lyrics that he speaks, he's very consistent in what he does. And it's it's hard to say that this is not expected from Neo, but like as I like as I previously said, Neo is like the prince of R and B. Because like when you think about it, Neo is so influenced by other people. He has that flash, but he can also keep it like fresh. But he's also uh, but his ability to write and just like keep calming is just something that I I find amazing that he can do. But I also find the fact that he made a song and I was like, what if like what if like he's so and I think the thing was that Neo is very much himself. So him saying what if and reflecting and like on basically what he's in the single is a lot of reflecting. It's interesting to look at. Okay, so we're talking about Neo. And Neo is a very special case of extremely talented, but extremely different. So, as I said, I have not covered R&B artists in a while, and I am sorry that I have not covered R&B artists in a while. Um, but I think it, it's 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 a different kind of approach when it kind of Neo drops. Which is kind of, like, it's it's so weird to hear Neo drop about a song. Because Neo dropped a song, and it's called What If. Now, before I get in really into the lyrics, um, I'm really just going to get into the nitty-gritty kind of things. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. Because I think that being into the nitty-gritty might help. So, this, this cinematography of him... This, this kind of shattered glass kind of effect where, hey, I'm looking back at a time when I was dealing with a lot of things. This is what happened. This is how it works. And, you know, that's the format of how I'm going to make the music I make and me looking back at it. Because Neo does have a family now. So he's saying, what if, you know, I know I was wrong and I know we were young. Which is very understandable. He he kind of, but it, this song gives off a a love song kind of appeal that Neo always somehow descends to bring on any track that he is featured on or any song that he does. You get that Neo kind of shine on a track. But as I said, the, the beginning of the song, he kind of you, you see him kind of admit to a few things, and I think these are representations of like the storm of being oh. The stuff I had to go through to realize that, hey, you know, maybe I was the problem. Or maybe I should have done this. Or maybe what if I had done this? Maybe I wouldn't be in this situation. Which I say is a different kind of approach for Neo, but it's a love song still. It has that love song format that I love when Neo does in his choreography, in his choreography with that fedora. The, I think it's just amazing. The background dancers, everything. It gives a very, okay, I'm going to go through the storm kind of situation. Which the lightning, the thunder, and everything goes together in a shattered glass gives a good representation of. This song, though, he does kind of like omit a lot of things in his song, which there's no different. It's Neo, I expect, you know, top tier kind of R&B vibes and emotion brought out of this song, which he does. He gives you, he, in this song, is a bunch of hypothetical situations that he he's been through that he knows people go through all the time and being the song that he it just it that's that but it's also like a heartbreak song which i do like neo and it's perfectly he says i felt perfect when we, I, I felt perfect when we were together um we were in love when we were in love i knew it was true which is it, it, it's really what Neo is known for. Him talking about songs and being that he's wrong. 
but it also shows that during his in his age, he always and always thinks about things I could have done that possibly were better that I could have done. And that like, I'm sorry, I gave you a heartbreak, but you know, at the time. I was only thinking about myself, which he admits to. I wish in this song he kind of persuades that. Yeah, I was just thinking about myself. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was just sorry for the heartbreak. It's about. A, it's a lot of hypotheticals in this song, which I think aren't really talked about. But it, it, you know, it's it's Neo being what Neo does. It's a song where Neo explains his. You know, kind of explains his passion of why he makes music and like a lot of stuff. If it had happened would it have been a different way like it's almost he's almost coming to age in a song where he's like what have I done this what have I did this and they're and they're and they're not really he's kind of maturing through these what if scenarios where he says I'm sorry I did this I'm sorry for breaking your heart these are very good songs and very inspirational songs this is definitely an 8 out of 10 song from Neo, because it's just Neo. Neo brings the emotion, he brings everything to this track that I think a lot of people don't really bring to music nowadays. So, it's an 8 out of 10 song. I definitely go listen to it if you haven't already, and it's everywhere you stream music.